What about for young learners? How can technology be used to help them to improve their listening in English? Jean is going to show us some examples. Young learners love to listen to stories and videos. Technology can help by connecting teachers and students to many interesting resources. Teachers can also find interactive listening activities, such as games and songs, for young learners on the internet. These activities can help learners develop top-down and bottom-up skills that Professor Wilkin discussed. Top-down skills help students understand the main ideas in what they hear by using cues such as images and expectations about the sequence of a story. Bottom-up listening skills promote understanding through the meanings of vocabulary and grammar. In this video, we introduce resources that allow young learners to listen to spoken language in a story or presentation. Teachers can use these listening materials to identify vocabulary and expressions to teach. One amazing resource for listening materials is YouTube, where teachers can find storybooks read aloud for children. For example, teachers presenting school-related vocabulary might select if you take a mouse to school. The simple main story of a mouse should support top-down listening. The mouse needs more and more school supplies as the day goes on. The images in the book support bottom-up listening as the pencils, lunchbox, and sandwich that the mouse needs are pictured. The video can be projected for the whole class or played on individual devices. When the video is played for the whole class, the teacher can pause the video to ask comprehension questions to help all students understand the main story. The teacher can also discuss more specific details of the story and point out new vocabulary. Another great internet source for read aloud books is Storyline Online. On this website, teachers can select from a collection of popular children's books that are read aloud by a diverse collection of readers. The video shows the readers as they introduce the book and then open it up to begin to read page by page. The video lets the children see the person whose voice is reading to them. The readers include diverse voices and even some famous ones. All of the books are illustrated, and in some of the stories, the illustrations come alive with animations. These engaging videos create a beautiful centerpiece for a lesson in which the teacher can introduce the topic of the story and the reader before the students listen. And then, after they listen, the lesson can focus on vocabulary by discussing the characters and their actions, motives, feelings, and cultural context. Another type of video for young learners is found on the TED-Ed website. TED-Ed videos present interesting educational topics such as how playing an instrument benefits your brain or why are cats so weird? The teacher can choose from many different videos, finding the right topic to grab students' attention. The videos themselves come in a variety of lengths, but there are plenty that are approximately five minutes long. Again, classroom activities before listening and after listening can provide language and cultural focus. One way of providing language focus is to work with the subtitle feature of the videos. Teachers can play the video without subtitles once, then show the subtitles during the second listening, discuss the important vocabulary with the students, and again turn off the subtitles during the third listening. These great listening resources for young learners, together with the teacher's knowledge of how to create before listening and after listening activities, will provide many engaging English language lessons using technology. The next video demonstrates how to use internet resources to access interactive listening activities such as games and songs.